Hi, I'm Steven, and welcome back to the Round Table. And today I'll be talking about some of the albums turning 40 in 2023. This is probably going to be a multiple part uh, video overview, so bear with me. I'll try to make it as short and sweet as possible for each segment. So, hope you agree with these selections. Let me know what you think. We definitely would like to hear from you. Number one, well, not number one, it's not in any order. It's just stuff that's in my collection that I picked up. So we'll start off with the first one on the list. The Eurythmics, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of These. Um, this came out in January 4th, 1983. This is the album that put them on the map, basically in US and Canada with their number one hit song, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of These. And this started their super stardom career where they came out with multiple hit albums and singles and the rest is history. But this is the album that started it all and it's celebrating 40 years this year. Next up, we have Canada's own Brian Adams. This is the album called Cuts Like a Knife. He had a top 10 hit with Straight From The Heart and a number 15 with the title track. Um, it went, I believe, a million units in the States. And it's, this is the one that started him, but then it kind of dwarfs in comparison when Reckless came out and, you know, I, 7 million or something like that. So. A lot of people forget about this album, but this is the album that got him, that kick-started his career internationally. Cuts Like a Knife. Great album. I love it. I still go back to it. And um, you can't go wrong with it. I think this is one of the essentials. If you do like Brian Adams, you should listen to this. Um, next up, the Juggernaut album Pyromania from Def Leppard, released January, tw 20, released January 20th, 1983. Sorry about that. Uh, produced by Ro uh, John Mutt Lang, uh, producer extraordinaire. Of course, you have Photograph on there, Rock of Ages. This is a 10 million seller, and they would repeat that number with Hysteria years later. But that's a whole other story, but Pyromania is a great album from these guys and gave them the big hit and gave them, you know, this is a juggernaut. There's a, it's a massive hit album, and you know, you can't grow. I love it, I still love it. So, Pyromania, Def Leppard. Next up, we have Eric Clapton, Money and Cigarettes. Uh, not a big hit for Eric Clapton, but I've enjoyed this album. This came out in February 1983. Um, I think the big hit on here was um, I've Got a Rock and Roll Heart, but I think it's a good album. It's a solid album from him, nowhere near Slow Hand, of course, but it's a good album. It's a top 20 album, didn't sell as much as I thought it would, but again, you know. Um, there's no guarantees in the music business, right? Next up, we have Journey Frontiers. This came out February 1st, 1983. Um, it was their follow-up to Escape. This had the big hit, Separate Ways, Worlds Apart. This is another big album for them and added, I think, at least four more hits to their repertoire. I feel like Journey, this is one you got to go to. This is a, a must, and um, I still enjoy it today. So if you don't, if you haven't heard from this album or you're just getting used to journey you're hearing their new album that came out uh, last year uh, frontiers is one that you have to listen to for sure that's uh, an essential listen and this is part one of the albums that will be celebrating their fourth anniversary in 2023 let me know what you think of the first part i'd love to hear from you this is steven from the round table and i'll see you on part two